Uh, hi everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be talking about waterfall charts, and we'll be doing this in the eight steps that are mentioned here. But before we dive deeper into the code, let us first understand what what waterfall charts are, and in which situations are they used. So here I've pulled up a couple of waterfall charts, and as you can see here, they uh, let, let, let us open this chart, and here we see that. They are usually uh, used to uh, represent a particular value, how it has uh, increased and decreased over time and what the current value stands to be. Okay, for example, in this uh, case, we have the carryover balance as 100k and then it has decreased and increased and then the current balance is uh, 78.5k. Uh, okay, and the, the waterfall charts, they are usually very uh, famous to represent uh, the financial numbers. For example, if, if as you see here, they are usually uh, representing financial numbers such as what was the revenue and cost of goods and what is the total net income. So we'll also take a similar example. So we'll use two libraries here. Uh, one is Pandas to handle the data frame and the second one is Plotly which we will use to create our waterfall chart. And this is the data that we have. So let us try to understand this data first. So uh, we, uh, we, we've mentioned three things here. So one is... Uh, a measure so now measure is actually something that the waterfall chart needs to basically plot that whether the value that we've met whether the metric that we've mentioned whether that will come as a whole bar starting from zero or it will be a relative column okay for uh, like here you can understand this blue bar is a uh, uh, is a total bar and the uh, the red and green bars are relative bars so this blue bar would also be a total bar so in my case, I have two total bars which are net revenue and uh, profit before tax and then we have other relative bars which are uh, increasing and decreasing in nature. Okay, so let us go and create a very uh, basic uh, waterfall chart. So here I've created the very basic uh, waterfall chart. I orientation I've provided it as V which means vertical. If we provide it as H, it will create the uh, same chart in a vertical format. So for now, let us just uh, create it as a vertical. And what we'll do now is we'll, uh, so here, these values, I, I mentioned them as positive. So they are, they've been mentioned as green and then uh, wherever I've mentioned them as negative. So they're, they're, they have been plotted as red and my total bars have been plotted as blue. Uh, so we'll further improve this chart by adding data labels. So to add uh, data labels, we can uh, use this, these two attributes, which are text position and then we have the text. So the, you can add, uh, so here you uh, you would notice that, okay, this, uh, the, the, the text has been added. So here you can provide any series, uh, any series in this text attribute and it will plot the same uh, in the chart as a data label, right? So let us, uh, so this, these bar widths are very wide. So uh, let us uh, try to tweak that a bit. How I do that is uh, the bar change the bar width is by changing this uh, width or uh, dot uh, width equal to 0 0.5 and using this uh, uh, statement fig dot update layout I've provided the uh, height and width uh, to be of a specific measure right width I've kept it as 80 uh, 800 and height I've kept it as 500 now you see that okay it looks a bit better now we can also change the bar colors so for bar colors we would need to mention uh, these things that what color do we want for the increasing bars decreasing bars and the total so here i've mentioned these things okay the, the uh, color for in decreasing is red increasing is turquoise and for totals is orange so as you would notice here okay my bar colors have also changed right uh, so uh, going forward i'll also add a, a chart title and access title and that we can simply do by uh, uh, by mentioning it in the update layout statement and update y axis update x axis so that these uh, uh, lab, uh, these uh, chart and access titles get updated the final step i would do here is changing the theme of the chart and that i can do by simply adding this statement which is uh, template equal to a uh, plotly white so there are other themes such as plotly dark and ggplot2 that you can explore on your own right so that was all guys for this tutorial thank you for watching